good, man. Oh, shit. What happened, Francisco? <laughs> Everybody's leaving me. I'm on a recording by myself. <laughs> we'll see what happens. You left me hanging, brother. <laughs> oh no, what happened? You left me hanging again. That is so weird. Hi, Janine. How's it going, love? Oh, what's going on with Francisco's audio? It keeps coming in and out. Hey, Ben. Hopefully you didn't get kicked off. I don't know. Something's going on with uh, Francisco's audio. He keeps coming in and out like every five seconds. So no, I had a I had a I had a phone call that came in. We're for oh, an apartment, okay, so that's I had to take the the call. And I I guess oh, it good. I had I did accept and hold, but apparently it didn't get me on the Zoom. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, good. Francisco, you look good, brother. Yeah, looks like it kicked you out like seven times. <laughs> like oh, oh, I lost him. I'm talking to myself again. <laughs> um, um, I'm just making a few tags here quick before we get rolling. Uh, let's see who I can get on. Feel free to reach out to any entrepreneurs trying to expand this outside of World Ventures to get more people, nothing, um, since I know. But it's always awesome that it turns into that. But that's how we can... Ooh, Tia. Oh, Tia's on. What's up, Tia? What's up, girl? Hey, Tia. It's going to be a fun call with you on. <laughs> Let me see who else I can tag. Um, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's up, Tia? Can you hear us? You there? I can. Yeah. Awesome. How are you? I'm great. You? Yeah, fantastic. It was a, a pretty rough, weird last last week. Uh, a lot of energy has shifted these last two days, so I'm feeling amazing. But it was pretty rough over the weekend. <laughs> But I'm feeling great now. Yeah, I am. Well. Yeah, yeah. I from everyone that I've talked to, it's just uh, part of the healing process, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I think everybody kind of got hit. <laughs> let me okay. Let me tag a few more people, and then let's give it like sixty seconds, and then we'll do me up together. Let's see here. Do 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 do. Right now, stop you. Andy's joining. Woohoo. Michaela's coming in. Awesome. Looks like we're gonna have pop, it's gonna be popping today. 
the one on Tuesday was a little quiet because me and I kind of forgot to promote. We actually almost forgot <laughs> about it. So that was funny. Um, so much going on. Let's see who else. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, that's who I was gonna do. Okay, 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 okay. And okay. Awesome. Well, feel free, guys. Turn on your videos if you're able to. I'm gonna try my virtual background. Like, never works, but I'm gonna try it again and see if. Yeah, like, look at what my virtual <laughs> background does. Like, what is what is that? It makes my face the virtual background. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I don't know how to do that. Okay, I guess we won't try that again. <laughs> Leave us some of the color you oh! hey! There it went. Okay. Now I'm in the forest. Maybe I was doing it all wrong this whole time. Let me try and find a cool picture to put on. Admit, admit some people onto the call. Let's see if I can find a cool picture for this virtual coffee. Although I do like the greenery. Let's see. And hopefully, uh, ooh, there's my husband and I. In memory of my husband not being here. <laughs> I'll show you. Carrying me. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, Nick should hopefully pop on. Um, he is doing some um, Instacart for some Instacash. Who knows about that? <laughs> Have you guys heard of Instacart? It's like the Uber of groceries now. <laughs> no. Hilarious. I want to yeah. do Instacart. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's um it's uh yeah he just gets some orders obviously people that don't want to go grocery shopping he goes grocery shopping for them and then boom he uh um drops it off at their place so uh he, he's been making like about a hundred hundred for the day um that's kind of like his goal uh, then he comes home and does some more um, entrepreneur stuff. That's so weird. Someone's trying to log on, but they're not able to. Um, I have, let me try and see if I can. See what the um, URL is. Try mailing ID seven eight nine twenty four one one. Okay, but anyways, how are you guys doing? What's what's going on in your your world? <laughs> Anyone want to talk? No. Tell us how you're doing. How's the entrepreneur life, guys? <laughs> Is it Busy, yeah, man. Is it fun, crazy, all over the place? Like, it's like, where it's like are you mad. It's guys? mad. I've got a guy in the U in uh in Louisiana who um who signed up his daughter, and she lives in Louisiana as well. Obviously, <laughs> the weird thing is, obviously, I'm training one, and then he's training her, which I think is quite cool. So he's training through through me to her. Which is great, um, you know, sending videos to him and stuff like that. The, the one that uh, Nick made the other other day about the uh, the messages and stuff for sending for people for the uh, rank up up. Yeah, awesome. he just changed them yeah. a little bit because obviously he speaks to people slightly different to what what those were written, how they were written. But again, they're just templates. You just make them to what you want, don't you? At the end of the day, so uh, he's working with them. He's doing quite well, which is good. That's awesome. Loving it. Yeah. Uh, what's funny is, um, you know, it's like with what's going on, um, and awesome. Everyone actually right now is, I'm going to take a screenshot of everybody. Hey, 
<laughs> we're all in world ventures. There might be some non world ventures people that'll come in. Um, but either way, uh, that kind of like reminds me. Um, last year, we did a 10 month road trip and we had a lot of backlash from a lot of leaders. Um, some leaders, top leaders um, that have probably way more credibility than other leaders. Um, they were actually like some of the top, top leaders. We were like uh, supporting Nick and I in our like crazy adventure on this 10 month road trip to build world ventures completely online. But we got a lot of opinions from other leaders um, that we're a lot closer to. It's more like, you know, they're, they're, they're the ones building our home base kind of here. Um, Cause you know, it was like, this whole online thing last year wasn't what it is today. And right. so yeah. we just kept pushing through and we were like, no, there's gotta be a way you can build world ventures across the world. Yes. It's going to take, you know, creativity and all that stuff, but why can't you? This whole thing is, this is called world ventures. <laughs> and you know, the whole, like some, some uh, leaders have the, you can't build, if you can't build in your backyard, why are you building across the world? And, and while we're like, well, shit, because in our own backyard, no one gives a shit about us. <laughs> like no one listens to us and people across the freaking world actually care to listen and are inspired by us. I don't know, that was crazy. So <laughs> we did a lot of, um, pretty much everyone we put in last year was not in Wisconsin and obviously we were on the road so it didn't even matter we, we put people kind somewhat face to face but a lot of it was meeting people at networking events and then eventually obviously we knew we would be not near each other we'd be somewhere in the world um made a lot of awesome connections so last year I believe actually set us up for this year to go back to the principles of what we actually know very, very well. And I think we're ahead of the game. A lot of us here are ahead of that digital <laughs> online space, um, but it's totally possible. And I know the, the world is now slowly waking up to that idea that you don't have to, um, yes, it's, it's all about relationships and connections, but look at how beautiful this is, you know, like Andy's in the UK and we're all in different parts. Um, and we're all still able to connect. Like, I feel like these virtual coffees have totally been awesome and something that will continue even after Corona happens. And this is what keeps people like in the loop. Like this is what keeps people excited and we don't have to physically touch people. And that then destroys those boundaries and those limits that we've put on ourselves, you know, mentally and physically. So I'm excited because now the top leaders that told us last year we were loopy doopy and crazy are actually coming to us because they want to know how we're building this and they want to know all of our tips and tricks and how we have, uh, you know, discovered all these strategies and stuff to build online. And we're like, okay, <laughs> I know you're like five ranks higher than me, but sure we'll help you. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> so that's, the same, that's the same with uh, with us in the UK, Monica. Obviously, um, I, I started off doing the coffee stuff. Obviously, with you guys doing it as well. I thought I thought the idea of doing the coffee. So I just did like morning coffee. Then you guys started doing coffee where you were actually doing work, and I thought, okay, we can call that something different. So I called it yeah. I called it like you called it coffee connection. So I called it coffee connection. But what I do yeah. now is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's work days. That's like yeah. coffee breaks. That's a working break, and then the, the cool. Tuesdays and, thir and Thursdays are I said this morning are um, just chats. So what you do is on the days of the chats, you bring in people that not don't even know about world ventures. You just chat about stuff. You get yeah, to know the know. people in the community. The following day, you know you might have approached them the day before. Uh, the following day, you do, you've got the actual working day, so you can bring those people from that coffee that you had with them along to the break. Well, they know everybody because they've just met already. And now they get into the business and they start doing it all. What is great. And because you can actually get them straight in from there. So we're actually doing, rather than waiting for these lives that are on at the moment, the presentations, we bring them from a, from a coffee uh, connection to a coffee break and then pitching them there and then with the rest yeah. of the team all watching. And then we record okay. it and everyone gets to see it. So you've all got some sort of, you know, something to look at afterwards to see 
you know, where they, you know, where slightly things could be said slightly differently or, you know, how we could have done that a bit better or whatever. So everyone's critiquing everyone, but it's all constructive, which is great because everyone's involved. And that means whoever jumps on and does the same over and over. And we did, we did this for like nearly, nearly four weeks now. As soon as the coronavirus hit, that was when I started doing all the stuff. And then all yeah. of a sudden you've got the Greek teams doing it. So Panos, Panos Salas doing it. You know, you guys are doing it as well. Um, and, and it's weird. I had, I had uh, about four or five IMDs. What are you doing? How come you've got so many people? You know, and I've got IMDs in the UK who set up these coffee breaks and coffee yeah, mornings. You, right? Isn't that and guess weird? what? And guess what? They ain't going to this. They're coming to man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? First mover. First mover advantage. You know yeah. what I mean? So, so it does work. Yeah. It, it is working for everybody. But again, it's... It it, it's, you've got to encourage your teams to come and join in as well because that's mm-hmm. where you, you, know, you when, when some, I think it was Wayne was saying that um, you know it's not so much having the fire because it's there you know you can show them where it is but you can't drag them over to it you can say look the, the fire's here come and join in and once they're there they, they don't want to leave and it's, it's quite weird you know you do these coffee breaks only an hour but sometimes they're, they'll say oh can, can we just ch- talk afterwards so you finish and you go and do another little chat with them you know and you make them a host and have to jump off because you've got to do stuff. But, you know, it just means that the guys really get to know each other a lot better. I'm sure you guys have, have learned a lot about each other you didn't know about, you know, which is great, you know. And uh, like Monica said, I'm in the UK, so I'm a bit detached from you guys. But um, but I'm not when this is happening. You're never not. Mm-hmm. I, I which is, feel which like is you're cool. never not. Like, it's so, I'm like, where's Andy? <laughs> <laughs> kind of in different time zones ahead of us, you know. So that's what's funny. Like, and that's the thing is, that's a, a true testament to, I, you know, being in World Ventures for over seven years. Mm. I would hope, I, you know, like, yes, I, I wish I was farther along, but for some reason, it, that's I'm connected yet. I don't know what type of next level leadership I need to get to. As I feel as a senior rep, I should fucking be at least RMD with the shit that like literally IMDs call us for two hours. Who the hell is IMDs talking to a senior rep asking them shit? So right. anyway, but you know, I'm I'm going I'm grateful for my skills and my knowledge, and that's a testament to us, you know, wherever you are. I don't believe in like the whole seeing people with their rank. I believe like where is their knowledge? Where's their heart? Mm-hmm. Where's their passion? Where's their leadership? Because there are people that are active representatives and qualified reps that embody that IMD, that triple, quadruple IMD already, that know that they, what they're going for and, and they have that passion. And it's just a matter of getting through these hurdles and, um, you know, like I'm a little bit more patient with the process and understanding that people quit, people, you know, you can't control anything most of the time we can't even control the thoughts that are going on in our heads so what makes us think we can control anything else but um i know nick is like damn it we should already be like i'm decent i'm like i know babe but somehow we're not <laughs> so we just gotta keep going you know but it's it's interesting because the the imds you know what's gonna happen is there's gonna be um the the IMDs that are the original, like, gangsters, traditional network marketers, and this gigantic wave of the new type of, like, new network marketing strategies, games, and internet, and all these, and still including those relationships, because um, I believe we can touch way more people, whew, across the across the board with using social media um especially if you're you have the right intentions and your energy attracts so yeah. I, think, I think another thing monica as well is like francisco does the uh the, the the little the workout videos and he does like a chat as well just little one minute of like you know just just pick something and just uh, talks about it that that live technique years ago someone said to me oh don't do that it doesn't work i can guarantee Every time you put a live up or anything like that, interactive, and people come in and chime into it and like it, whatever, you've now got leads. You haven't got to look for them. They're there. They're going to follow you all the time. I'm sure, Francisco, I'm sure you've got guys that have jumped on, don't even know them, said, oh, man, this, that's really cool. That's so true. And then you reconnect with them, and now you like building that rapport yeah. with them. And I think you, you can't do that right. sitting in, in a coffee shop 
you know, meeting randoms, as it were. Yeah. Uh, every single sign up I got in February was because of my Facebook lives. I didn't even know they were watching until yeah. I got on the phone. Though. And uh, yeah, I, I didn't know they were watching until I prospected them and I got on the phone, they watched a video and then we had a conversation. They mentioned my Facebook lives. And to your point, Monica, there's other, there's other companies out there that are making millions of dollars in network marketing through social media and they've already mastered it. To be quite honest, World Ventures was a little behind, but now they're catching up. And, oh, yeah. uh, well, and they're doing all the right things. So, um, and, and then, like just learning from you and Nick, that opened the door to uh, all these books that I'm reading now to start to realize how to market yourself online. You know, what, yes. are, the, what are your marketing strategies? I'm reading the dot-com book and how to become an yeah. attractive character online, you know? Yeah. All the strategies you need because- Change your man. And one of the things I learned from a, an amazing marketer who is actually teaching one of our top leaders in World Ventures, Ray Higdon is teaching uh, Dave Uloa and, uh, and Byron Shrog and DJ and these these are coach and they pay probably twenty thirty thousand dollars. I don't know how much they pay for yeah. Ray Higdon, but I yeah. know because all the information they're getting from is directly from that source because I I'm part of that too. And yeah. um, he said that uh, you can have an amazing product or you can have an amazing if you're a restaurant yeah. or you can have the most amazing course meal steak or whatever. There's but there could be somebody down down the street right that has like a quarter of the product or food that you have. But are better marketers, they're yes. gonna kick your ass. And nobody's gonna that's know. McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, that's McDonald's, <laughs> right? Food on earth. Yeah. They just yeah. sell nobody's gonna know about your stuff. But, but, but the thing is, Ray Kroc really good because Ray Kroc wasn't after selling burgers, he was after a property. Their business is a burger, it's property. Every property they own, every burger place they own is in prime real estate locations. Exactly. Every single one. Marketing. Number one marketing, fucking real estate, yeah. man. They've got, a, they've got billion dollar, billion dollar property plots all around the US, billion dollar, that people are yeah. literally trying to buy off them. So if, if, if it went bad, I guarantee they'd have their money back in, in, in days and some. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, just, they just know what they're doing. And like you were saying, Francisco, as well, about, about we're behind the times with this, um, the internet stuff. That's because people have been down dumbing it and saying it doesn't work. I remember when I used it to works. do, I was an internet marketer, right, for, for oh. about, about 10 years. I was yeah. earning 10 grand a month, easy, easy money, 10 grand a month off the, off the internet. I was, I was up on my skills. I was in it every single day. I marketed, I prospected all the bits and pieces. I was learning off some of the real top marketers, the ones that are there who've written the books and stuff now, you know, I was working with these guys and now they've got books and stuff. So now they make their money, not from the internet, but they work, they work from their, their, their own brand and they basically sell their books and products and courses and stuff, which they've made from all these things years ago. But some of that stuff still works. But the thing yeah. is, everyone's thinking, you know, I don't know what it is about, about network marketers. It's like, oh, no, you can't. You've got to be face to face. You know, there's no other way of doing it. Well, there is because I made money without seeing anyone. I put up websites that it just generated income. I was like, how the hell am I getting people? And literally, it was just doing the same things over and over and over again. And then it was all to do with how Google picks your stuff up now. But because Google have now, like, they're trying to keep their self more, you know, to themselves. Rather than going to Bing and all the other different um, search engines, because Alta Vista when I was about, and there was AOL and all these other sort of companies out there. So still, I think AOL, AOL was still about, but you know, all these other companies there that didn't really, they didn't really know how the internet worked. And if you know how to link everything together, you could get one person hit one page, then go to another one and buy like upsells of stuff mm -hmm. that, that yeah. you had. And that's exactly what we've got. We've got upsells. We've got like you know, Dream Giver card. That's that's upsell number one. You know, yeah. bang, Dream Giver card. Test it out. Yeah. Next one, 25 bucks, become a member. You know, next mm -hmm. one, 75 uh, bucks, is you, you become like a, a silver rep, you know, and yeah. a member, you know, and so on and so on. And it, I think we've got this stuff in place, but we've got, there's no mechanism to build them from one to the next to the next. There's no structure. I mean, I remember something called Empower Network. I used yeah. to be part of that as well. And I was earning a lot of money from that. And that basically was all education based. So for instance, like you did your, your live, for instance, your one minute live on something. They went to that, saw you live, and then went from that to, to, a, to a funnel where they started getting emails from you. And yeah, that was the first part. Now you could do it with videos. You haven't got to do emails. Anymore. You can do videos with, or, or you can do like, uh, you know, video on demand and stuff like that. And then basically that was the next thing. Then if come off that, they click a button. That would be a, a, an action I had to carry out to basically move to the next part. And the thing is, we, we haven't got that. I mean, nearest damn it we've got is, is our rapid funnel app. That's really cool because you can track everything. 
But what we haven't got is something that, that, that tracks it and automatically picks the route they want to go to next to pique their interest yeah. and keep them going, to get them right. to the sales without us actually physically having to talk to them. Because that then makes it easier for people to do it. There's no decision right. making, you know? Yeah, no, one, no, 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 one on a, no one on a, on a travel site jumps up and says, hey, how you doing? Yeah, do you want to go to Jamaica? Yeah, I saw you. Crypto. No one does that. They just buy the thing and go. Yeah. Yeah, you know? yeah, you're right. So uh, you're spot on. And, and that's what I'm reading on .com is how to get them up the value ladder. How to, and there's so much strat strategy and structure like to get people that, that are making other people tons of money and other businesses. And there's a technique that they use to get people to top in because a lot of people there's always that that point where a customer is gonna hesitate to make the purchase right and we yeah. gotta we gotta have that small bridge and i you know i try to use that dream giver card as a small bridge but in the book.com what everybody's using all over uh, online and social media are two techniques either they're giving away a free something via yeah. mail or uh they're uh they're, they're for membership sites specifically and we're a membership company they're saying, hey, why don't you pay a dollar to get in and three days later, we're going to charge you to 25 or three days later, we're going to charge you the price of the membership just so they can kind of ease them in. And but and once because the goal is for them to get their credit card information out. And once they input the credit card information, the trust is there and they're willing to pay 25, 75, yeah. 100, a thousand dollars for a yeah. membership. Um, and if we had man, I was reading that part. If we had something where we can just get them to pay a little but we don't right so i'm trying to figure out a strategy how to use a dream giver card uh to you know how to pitch that so that is the easy in right so yeah um so i'm still working on that so I'm, i don't know how many people i get to, to fill out a form on the on the rapid funnel i get them on a call you know and, and these are cold market by the way i get them mm. to take a look at the information they, they're excited they're willing to do it but this, i just need that one last strategy to Get, get them to, because they feel like there's a risk. There's always a risk. As a customer, I'm getting to something that's new. I've never done this before. I've never seen this before. There's a risk on my end. How do I eliminate that risk? And, you know, the strategies that I'm reading on .com secrets um, share that, but we don't have something to do that. So I'm trying to figure out a way to, to eliminate that risk for the customer to, to get them over the hump. And I'm telling you, for those that are listening right now, I believe the world is changing. And in the past, they said belly to belly is the only way, but that's a lie, bold faced lie. I mean, I'll be honest. And in and, and, and the next 12 months, online is the only way. And But there is a learning curve uh, for that. You got to learn it. It's not something you can just kind of just wing it, right? And I recommend a mm -hmm. book that Monica and Nick recommended to me, Dot Com Secrets. That book is a great starting point. And it just it'll open up your eyes on how this online strategy works. Um, and then you understand how to use a rank up app. You understand what, how, you know, how to utilize a rank up app. And then you start to pay, to pay attention to all the tools that the rank up app has on there. Because at first, because if you don't understand the online strategy, you don't understand the tools that you already have to your disposal. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, 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 and you're better, you're, you're able to better use the rank up app, understanding how these, this process works, understanding how the value ladder works to get people yeah. to, uh, to, to go through the steps and my only uh, part right now that I'm my only I want to say issue but the last piece of the, of the puzzle is is getting them to opt in um, and, and getting him to sign up um, and creating an easy non-threatening way to get them to, to take out their credit card information and there's two strategies that work right now in the, in the internet world and that's giving them a free book or, uh, or, or but it's got to be a physical thing you got to shift that's what they're saying very specifically you got to give them something physical or or giving them somewhere they can pay very little to get started and charge them the full price later and you can then upsell them after the fact you'd be surprised they'll pay a dollar to get started uh yep. three days later they'll upsell and buy titanium i mean that's what this you know that's what the these books are, are, are telling us so um yep. i just want to share that with you guys um but yeah no online is the way to go um, and, and understanding and learning. And we just had a call uh, that Nick invited me yesterday with uh, uh, the 90, with David Peach's uh, Blitz. And they talked about, you know, how to generate traffic from social media and how that strategy works. And I, after I listened to that, I was like, no wonder people are getting like 40 signups a week. You know, like once, I mean, I still don't fully understand it, right?
but I understand the whole overview that, of their, what they were trying to explain to us yesterday. And I was like, man, this, this is worth learning and getting good at, right? It's worth learning. And it's, it's not easy because there's a whole another science behind it, but it's worth it. Um, and especially with the world, how it's changed right now, you know, you know, I just read a book called, uh, uh, gosh, I forgot the name of the book, uh, Mastery or Secret Mastery. I, don't know. I just read that a couple weeks ago. And it says you got to be, in, in today's age, you got to be good at everything. You got to still be able to focus on one thing at a time, right? Because we get distracted every 11 seconds, but you got to have multiple skill sets to survive in today's age. You got to be able to, you know, if, if, you, if you think about basketball, you got to be able to dribble with both hands. You got to be able to shoot the three pointer. You got to be able to, to slam dunk. Or in UFC, you got to be able to know ground game, stand up game, how to box. You know, you can't just be good at one thing. Um, and that's with any business in any industry in this planet because of the internet age. We're, we're in an age where, where information is accessible to everyone. But it's those that don't get distracted with, with stuff that is just entertainment and get distracted with things that are going to be useful to their business can learn all those multiple skill sets to get good at for us world ventures, you know, or for other people, other, other businesses. So, you know, right now is the time in this, in, in this quarantine to, to really sharpen your knife and learn, yeah. read, understand where, what, where, where do I need to know? And, and, and you can find it easily online. So, yeah, so I hundred percent agree with that. Um, what you're saying there, because literally I, I started doing the, this is, this, you know, same as what Monica's saying, I was getting advice from IMDs, do not do internet. I'm like, I used to earn money on the internet all the time. They said, do not do it. So for five years, I've not done bloody internet. Awesome. And I'm like, then they're saying, do internet. I'm like, for sake, you know, you said, don't yeah. do it. And now you're saying, do it. And I could have been doing it for all yeah. this time, getting really good at what I'm doing, get back yeah. to the level I was at. And that, what you're talking about there, about the bridge and stuff, there is a really good way to do it. If you make yourself a, um, a booklet, for instance, on, and, and this is how you do it. Go online, find all the little bits and pieces on, uh, about travel, all the little travel tricks, tips, hints, and stuff like that. Grab them all. Find the best top 10. Make a top 10 um, travel hits or whatever it may, may be. Inside that, put your link for the survey. Inside that book. In it. Guys, look. These are some of the trips here. You want to, want to learn some more stuff? Just complete this survey. Boom. That's straight away, that's, a, that's, that's information. You've, you've, done that, you've done that bit. They do the information part, which is cool. But also after that, so after they've done the bits and pieces, send them another free gift. Say, hey, could you complete the survey? Here's another free. Here's the top 10 things airlines are going to be doing, going to be doing mm. after this present situation ends. Boom. Mm. Find, again, there's, there's, I, I was trying to think what I'm, what I'm you know, on LinkedIn. I'm, I'm in about four or five different travel groups. And they have to do with airlines and stuff. So I was going to airlines, pilot groups, things like that. Because they're the guys that are going to know what's happening. They'll be the first movers. They'll say, oh, right, I'm going to Etihad. Uh, airlines or delta or whatever and they've got flights starting from x and y and z day you know get the inside mm -hmm. sequence on those so what they're going to do now is they've given their details and then the next one you put the, again to the guy or girl or whoever it is that did that put in that unique link for them in that book it takes a bit of time all you gotta do is just put that in there send them that pdf bang they get it they click on it now they're going to see the video mm -hmm. presentation done boom and this is how you this is all what's going to happen but guess what you can get it. You can get this stuff for seventy percent less. Click there. Mm -hmm. Click here to find out more. They click. They see the video. There's your bridge. You've done it. It's done. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually doing this yeah. right now. I'm actually putting stuff together right now because what you're talking about there, it's like it's like mad. This is like, this is why I like these coffees. It's great. Yeah. You know, every time I yeah. get coffee, it's always, I learn new stuff. And all it is literally is make the stuff yourself. If it works, tell everyone else. Let them use it and rebrand it to whatever they want to brand it to. And then literally, you're just sending the same stuff out. But guess what? You've got your unique link in every single one. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if that goes to someone else. So if they send it to a friend, hey, I've got these top 10 tips. They give it to a friend and they fill it out. Guess what? That's two from one. Mm -hmm. If they then send it out to more people, there's four, five, six, seven. It does it on its own. When I, when I was doing a, um, a marketing campaign for a guy who does, does seasonal gardening, I said, right, I need you to write a, a, a 10 page um, ebook. I want pictures of it in your garden from um, summer, winter, spring. You know, summer fall, whatever it is, autumn and stuff in your guys. You know, look at the whole the whole year down. I want you to put four things that you want to do to prepare for each of those different seasons. Four of the best plants and four big tips about those plants in those season. And at the end of each season, I want you to put a little link. 
to, to, to something else that you can sell, be it on eBay, whatever. And he was doing it. And he was making an absolute hand over fist loads of money just by sending out one book. Because what happened was that the keen gardener told the other keen gardener, hey, this guy's written this book. It's really cool. Look, boom. And they, were, they, and they did the marketing for you. Mm. And like, I think, I think uh, we all said this before, you know, you're never a prophet in your own land. So guess what? Give it to the hands of someone else mm -hmm. to go mm -hmm. and spread it. Because that mm -hmm. way you're going to get that link out there. And don't forget that link, the initial link for, for going through to the, uh, the survey is the same. Because mm -hmm. they're going to fill, it out, fill out the details anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a freebie in that I can chuck around to everybody. But you're also giving them information. You're doing two things there. Curiosity. They want to look at what you got. So it's curiosity number one. Bang. Send them that. You know, and all you got to do is have a link for them to go to go to that, you know, on Amazon or whatever, or just have it on a server somewhere. And they'll go to that link or they'll email you and say, look, yeah, I want that. And it's got nothing to do with our ventures, nothing to do with MLM. It's just to do with airlines and, you know, how you can save money. And all you're doing is basically get them on a survey and that is it. And then the second one you send them is literally a book on <laughs> about how, how things are going to look, you know, how things are going to look after this. Because don't forget, there's people out there already predicting what's going to happen. You can even stick in a bit about Warren Buffett and he's, you know, he's putting millions into, into different airlines and stuff and hotels and things. And even Trump's doing that. So if you know where sure. to look. You know, so Forbes yeah. magazine, place like that. Go looking at the big, look at the magazines where the big boys look. And then yeah. pull that information out and share it to the masses because that's what it is. It's about getting information out to as many people in a, in a short of time of space as you can without the effort from you. So literally you send out one, one information thing and it goes out to... I don't know a hundred people, whatever. Say half those people sort of look at look at the stuff. You've got you've got fifty people now in your system. Half of those again sort of say, yeah, yeah, I want to know more about this stuff. What give me this other book? Yeah, no worries. Bang, send that to them. Mm -hmm. Half of those, so you've got what eleven people basically have said, yeah, I like it. Out of those eleven, half of them, so it's five people. So every time you send one out, you're getting five people. But a hundred people see it, and you've got those in your system, and you can put them through the drip funnel on the campaign, yeah. so they can get dripped on yeah. all the time. Yeah. So it's just basically keeping it live. And that, that's how people, that's how I used to build funnels when I was doing it without mm -hmm. this stuff. Mm -hmm. But it was a lot more work. I had to do all the emails myself. I had to you know, make it personal yeah. and stuff like that. It was really a bit of a nightmare. Mm -hmm. I had to learn how yeah. to use like different, different programs. And I used to, Microsoft Word, I used to put stuff in there. And oh, it was crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. But things I didn't like doing, I had to do. But the thing is, I had to do yeah. it every single day without fail. But it worked. Yeah. Now, I've even no, found yeah. one of my old lists. So... I'm yeah. all over it again <laughs> yeah and it, it absolutely works and for those that are listening right now that it might be like oh, a lot of information um you, you can't cookie cut this you can't there's no shortcuts that what we're giving you is um a big overview um if you really want to know read the dot-com book you know because i i, I, I'm, I remember the person i was last year two years ago would, would listen to this and be like oh let me write this down and then i'll try to attempt that but we're giving you an overview like you gotta. You want to read the book so you can have a fundamental understanding. Um, and when I'm getting off the book, and you know, off that book with using the systems that we currently have with the Rank Up app, and uh, and yes, I built one uh, a small funnel for myself towards the end. But I'm starting to realize, yeah. So I'm I'm getting along and I'm getting people up the valley ladder, but I but I don't have the last piece. And and to your point. Uh, getting them a free gift. I have 101 travel tips. We all have that. When you go to S2F University and you go to the link, there's 101 travel tips that Dave Law and Byron Shaw provide for you. But then I was wondering, man, if I charge people a dollar for that, is that a conflict? Of, is that a problem? No. <laughs> not, no. Yeah. So no, that's where isn't. I was at, you know? <laughs> it's not. And I was about to say that. I, said, I was going to say as well, if you want to make money out of your prospects from day one, charge them a dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Or seven bucks even. But believe me, I used to charge seven bucks for like a four page thing. And people yeah. would go and get it. They would go through it. Yeah. They had links in there. They, they go and upsell for loads of other stuff. You know, I was doing stuff. Again, I was into travel before I was in travel uh, world ventures. Um, yeah. I traveled around the world for like a whole year in 2008. That's a year before I joined. And um, I was doing, I literally lived on the internet, a bit like Monica and, 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 uh, and Nick. You know, I literally traveled and I worked as I went. You know, I, I was in Thailand. I found a guy who could supply me different stuff. So I spoke to him about how I could do a little deal. He said, yeah, no worries. So I all, automatically got all his guys involved in what I was doing. So, and the good thing about this right now is it's now giving me more ideas. I'm writing stuff down as I'm doing it. So I'm now going back to that guy because I, I forgot about him. But he's got like a list of like about 10,000 people that he, he, he emails out with, with products and services and stuff, you know. So 
again, it's it's finding those those people that are going to be, how can I put it, more of the, the social butterflies and go and tell people about what you've got. You know, oh, I've just found out this amazing thing. It's a thousand and one. These are all the things that are going to be happening. Boom, give them, but don't give them all of them. Just give them the top 10, you know, and drip feed it more. Do you want to know more? Yeah, it's a top 50. Bang, it's another seven mm. bucks. That's 14 bucks you just made out of two bits, of, you know, two mm. things. And if they really want to know more, just make sure inside that, that, that publication, all over it is links to get back to you personally. Mm -hmm. You just put them in there. Yeah, you know, and make and make them like like the Bitly link, make a Bitly and put a, a name on the end of it, as, as opposed to just being that squiggly Netflix of travel, whatever. You know, don't have that. Have a Bitly link or something like. Or get your or buy your own domain name and make a subdomain for yourself. Mm. You know, and have it in there as a subdomain, which is what I've just done. Because people get saying, "Is this next Netflix?" I'm like, "No." It says Netflix. Mm -hmm. like, no, it says Netflix of travel. That's what it stands <laughs> for. Oh, but it's Netflix. I'm not. I don't do Netflix. So, so again, it just stops that conflict. And plus, it looks more professional. When it's got a specific name on it, so your my, my AndyManningOnline dot com is my my website, and I just basically make a subdomain. I can have up to fifty subdomains. So you know, I think everyone can on their on their uh, on their uh, websites as well. GoDaddy and um, places like that. You know, so you know, just use the stuff you like. You said already, just use the stuff we've already got. There is a yeah. ton of stuff out there we're not using. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, use all the tools. Stuff. Yeah, and. Uh, and I know for a lot of folks, maybe maybe for some folks, we might be like going way over folks' head because I know I, I started this online thing last year on my own, and then I met Nick and, and, and Monica, and then they just helped me polish it up, and I'm still mm -hmm. going through the understanding of it. Uh, but for the folks that are listening right now, the key message is to really use this time that you're quarantined to read these books. They're not long books, but they're just going to open windows for you and open ideas and hope to give you a higher level of understanding of things. And then you can use what you currently have and, and you can utilize that better. Um, I mean, so um, I had another point I was going to say, and I totally forgot my train of thought. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, <get Yeah>. that. <laughs> I would say, I would say while you are thinking of what you want to say, Francisco, um, something to add on top of this, what has helped me not only um because here's the thing like this is the one way that uh that we're all taught right off the bat in world ventures and so trust me if this is working for you continue doing it but if it is not just maybe hear me out with some ears okay because <laughs> this is just what i'm personally doing that i believe is working like 10 times better um and it's more fulfilling so when you come into World Ventures or maybe another, whatever it is, I, actually, yeah, we'll just keep it to World Ventures because everybody's in World Ventures. You are taught to show it to yo mama, to Obama. It doesn't matter if they're Puerto Rican or, or white and Chinese or almost dying or they got money, they're breathing, whatever it is, you show them, <laughs> okay? <laughs> And you do that. And I think all of us have done that. We've probably all shown people that were like, why the fuck do we show them? And why the fuck are they in? And now I don't want them in. <laughs> right? So yeah. there has to then come that there's that feeling when you realize, okay, I actually don't want to do that, even though the, the top leaders are saying that, because that's to the masses. That's to the masses. They have to say that because they have to keep things stupid simple. So that's the first thing. But all of us have all evolved past that. And I believe for me, as a marketer, I understand that I am not for everyone, nor do I want everybody in my organization. And, um, you know, I've always said this, that Nick and I attract two totally different people. Uh, but that makes it fun. And once we realized, um, and again, I just have, um, a little bit more understanding, like Nick just kind of recently has like had this epiphany of like, holy shit, who have I been attracting? And for me, I've just kind of had those um, roadblocks sooner because I've just been in longer probably. I've been in maybe two, three years longer than Nick to kind of like hit that like, oh, this is not working or this isn't cool. Because when, you know, as we're looking at this business and we're looking at these strategies to bring people in, there then has to come that time where who are you actually specifically? Yeah, they want, they want to, you want the traveler or you want the open-minded person and all that. But really even like there are, I don't know how many bajillion people in the world. 
but there is that exact person that you can focus on that there is unlimited amounts of people that you will never even talk to all of them. And so then funneling into the specific type of person that you want to bring into, that's when shit gets fun. Because then you only bring in people that you actually fucking want to hang out with, that are think just like you, that are into this shit that you're into, you know? And so like that starts to, again, funnel your focus and your energy to the, what does that person embody? It's not just like the travel person that wants to travel anymore because everybody wants to fucking travel. It's not just the person that wants to make money. Like when you get super specific and that's how for me, I've branded myself to attract those spiritual woo woo goddess females that are like, you know, um, embody that, you know, warrior woman and they're not afraid to talk about you know, five dimensions and the universe and God and all that. And, um, you know, they're, that's, that's my group. It's not everybody that loves to travel and all that. And everybody that wants to make money and all this. So get even niche, niche it down even closer. And that's when eventually when you can use, you know, you, you've got to create the system and it looks like you're doing an awesome job, Francisco. And then there's that, that one thing. I believe that one thing is being even more specific about the person that you actually want to bring into that person just fucking connects. Like y'all are soul soulmates from a distance. Like you read each other's minds. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, yeah, because it's literally a direct reflection of yourself because that's yeah. who you're attracting. Can I, yeah, can, no, I no. That, can I just add to that as well, Monica? Because yeah. what I did with my guys the other day, um, we did a thing called an ICA um, thing. And what we basically do is got a piece of paper, drew a, drew a, drew a, a body of a, a female or a male, and it's your ideal customer avatar. And don't think of them as prospects. Think of them as customers. Do not think of people as prospects because that makes you think of them as a, as a thing, not a person. If you think yeah. of them as a customer, it's 10 times better. Because what you do then is you write down what is custom? Give it, give the, give the avatar a name. Name it. Mm -hmm. Give them an age. Give them a job. Mm -hmm. Give them an income. Give them everything. Then when you go and specifically look at, like Monica, Monica was saying, you specifically looking for that individual. You will only look for that particular person. Mm -hmm. That way, you are zeroed in on that person only. And when you do advertising, your marketing and stuff, it's only that person you want. You're obviously going to attract other people. It's, it's, it's how, how curiosity is built. But you start with that one person. And then the funnel just spills. It's like it's like a dancing man, and what the guy by himself dancing one minute, and then the whole field gets up. Once you get those people coming in, you're in the middle, and no one can see you. They just see the action going on, and they just want to be yeah. part of it. Yeah, and that's what it's, it's going to be. It's going to be like that, yeah. you know. Just to add to that, and uh, I, I that's the very first thing that's in that dot com book is how to find your perfect customer, and and everything you just said is exactly in that book. And then they want you to, oh, I read it. you know, yeah. And they want you to get the picture printed out and put it on your wall so you can take a look at that person. Yeah. Um, and, and I, I haven't done it because I thought it was so remedial, but it's it, not. Do it. <laughs> do it. Yeah. Why have you not done it? Do it, man. Yeah. It gotta, Today, yeah. You're going to do that and you're going to put it up. Literally, I did this for myself. Nick still has yet to do this process. That's why he's still struggling. Hold a second. I'll get mine. Two seconds. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have this gigantic board of I intuitively attract the fucking female goddess. She's fucking amazing. She's shining. She's a creator, a dreamer, a visionary, uh, a go-getter, an action taker. Um, she, you know, has energy, abundance, like all of that stuff I read. And that's who I attract. And so you can, yep, exactly. Like it's so, it sounds so basic. Like, oh, I know the person I want to attract. You don't see that shit everywhere, every day, all day. You're gonna lose sight of it. It's just the, it's just, it's just how it is. <laughs> it's just like those affirmations that we say. I'm a fucking goddess queen. <laughs> I gotta say that shit <laughs> ten times a day. <laughs> fucking goddess. Like I make fun of that shit, but it's so, it's so true, man. So do that oh, today. It. It's, it's so important. And you're going to get even clearer. Like, don't just do it once. Like, I keep mm. adding this shit, and then I keep scratching shit off, and then I mm. write it again, and I get it. Hey, man! <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, yo, yo! So, Nick. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah. Talk to Nick. So, um, hey. I'm uh, so, in the yeah, car. In the car, guys. Just delivering. Just delivering. Get that money, honey. <laughs> hey. got my purple mask on today. I'm feeling sexy. Hell yeah. Get that wonga and do the conga. <laughs> yeah, guys. Yeah. So do that, that, uh, that exercise, Francisco, man. And you're going to see you're no longer it, – because it, it's – um. Until you get clear on it, it's like you're almost forcing your way to search for people. Instead, yeah. now it's a vision. It's like a fuck. Again, I'm talking about you're tapping in your intuition. You're tapping into five dimensions, and people are coming to you. You're a magnet. Yeah, I think you're spot on. And it's funny, guys. It's not the first time I've heard this. That's how stubborn you know, I am. You know? Am I uh, coachable and teachable? Class, I'll remind you. <laughs> but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Class, uh, it makes man. sense. And it, for me, it's like coming from a green mentality is like, does it, does it connect A, B, C, and D? And if I can't connect the dots, it's like I don't take the action. But now having this conversation, it's connecting the dots, you know. And you're right, it could be the last piece because I see that once I find my number, my, my, my perfect customer, it will probably be, like you said, uh, instinctual when I find that person online to reach out. Yeah, yeah. You know, as opposed to reaching out to everyone and not yeah. knowing who exactly I'm looking for. And, then, and they'll probably stand out like a sore thumb. Hell and yeah. I, you know, so I'm it like, makes sense. This is so, my person. This is my people. Yeah. So I, I need to. fucking homie that gets me. It's going to be like this. It's not going to be forced. It's not going to be like you're pushing this baby up a freaking mountain. Yeah. You know? Like they're going to. Yeah. They're going to embody what you are. And again, it's a reflection of you. If that's what. Because again, I, I look at this. Would you sign up with you? Fuck yeah, I would sign up with me because I know I, I have guided people through this process and I don't just like try and get them in the door and see you later. Thanks for your your, your moolah that you just gave me. Mm -hmm. um, I care about people. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like when you know you, you just attract more of those. And then again, you keep up leveling yourself. You keep yeah, growing. I mean, I as well, with that, yeah. with that friends go as well, your, your lives, if you then, if you have a customer avatar to work mm -hmm. with, I'm talking to Imagine them. you're talking to this bloody person. Yeah. When you're talking to this person, guess what? That person will be on the other side. I know when yeah. people click on and off and on and off and on, that person will click on and stay on. And yeah. he'll go and tell other people to come on and stay on. And yeah. he'll go and tell other, and so on and so on. And like I said, it's the dancing man. You're by yourself for a little while and all of a sudden everyone wants to join in. And in the, yeah. in the end, eventually, and this is what happens in all network marketing and stuff, what well, should happen with network marketing is once you get to a point where you no longer have to be the person doing the guiding, everyone else does it for you, that's mm -hmm. when you know you've hit the jackpot. Yeah. yeah. You, look, you can now get a different ICA and do the same again and do it over and over. And like Monica said, keep updating it. If you have to change the person's name or gender, do it. Because if that puts your mind in the right spot, you're going to get those people looking at you. Because mm -hmm. what you don't want to do yeah. is, like, like Nick says, is get the seagulls, plant pots, and all the, the flower pots, whatever yeah. he calls them. You, know, you don't yeah. want them people. You don't, want the, you, don't want the, you don't want those people you have to cattle prod all the time to do stuff, you know? When they get in, they just jo they pay you money and they just do cattle for them, you know? <laughs> They've got the plant pots and seagulls and stuff, like this. Right. Yeah, get an ICA name, the first one, and then aim every single bit of marketing and stuff you do at that person, specifically. Yeah. Because mm. that way, your specificity will, will, will give you that character you need. And like Monica said, you keep on doing that consistently. If it's not working, you change slightly a little bit here, a little bit there. And just use the because you've already got a lot of knowledge already. Obviously, you read the dot com book as well. When you finish that, you will have a shit ton of knowledge. Mm. Really, literally, yeah. you know. I, I, when I finished that, I went, I went to this one as well. Copyright and secrets. That's what I've got as well. Oh, oh you know? shit! I haven't read that yeah. one yet. Yeah, copyright and secrets. Is I haven't good. read. I haven't uh, read that, that one. That, yet. If, if, you've got, if you've got that, that and dot com secrets, you put them two together, you are you are indestructible. Believe me. Uh. That's the knowledge you've got from World Ventures plus all the stuff we've got. We, we spoke about making little PDFs and stuff to give away, to give away or to make them buy for a dollar. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the little, the little teaser to get them to actually get their wallet out of the pocket, which is what yeah. we got taught. Everyone got taught that back in the day when, when you, when you get people in front of you, you've got two, two, two goals, one to make them like you, two to get their wallet out. That's yeah. it. That's all you got to do. Do they like you? Yeah. Or what you're doing? Yeah, they do. Bang, get the wallet out and get that wallet open. Once it's open, it keeps on staying, like you said, it keeps on staying open yeah. and they'll buy more yeah. and more and more. You ply them with all the good stuff, they'll keep plying you with the good stuff as well. Awesome. Done. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs>
No, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you, these, these calls are so valuable because on top of doing your reading and doing all the things you, you want to do on the back end, you don't want to just sit at home and do nothing. But then you get on these calls, it took me four or five times to hear the same message with the seagulls to so finally, for, the, for, for, for it to be so, uh, for me to, for me to understand like how critical it is, like how, like you can't, you, if you don't do it, you're hurting yourself um, and you're not, you're going backwards. Like, like today, this call helped me put the dots together, you know, and um, it's awesome. So. Yeah, so now I'm gonna worldwide team, this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I can see like a totally different, like you were like almost like having an out of body experience right now. Like you were like, <laughs> holy shit. You're a light right now. <laughs> You're a light. <laughs> yeah. You're on fire. Yeah. So once you see something, you can't unsee it. Yeah. It's yeah. be aware and you're gonna realize that the person you're talking to. Shit ain't, you ain't even my homie. Why am I talking to you? I'm yeah. gonna go over here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're gonna, like, cut wasting, like, the, the time wasting, yeah. you know? Like, you know, so it, yeah, and I do the same thing for at and for, for years. I do the same thing, and I know when a person walks into a store or gives them a call with me, I know, I know, I, I can, they stand out. Who, who's gonna buy? Who's not gonna buy? Who's my perfect customer for at and And, uh, and I just didn't have a perfect customer for World Ventures. And, and, and I didn't realize that I just have to create that for myself. Like when yeah. you work for a corporate company, they kind of create that for you and then they stand out. But here as an entrepreneur, you just create that for yourself and make that your own. And then you, and then you start to build off of that. So that's huge. Yeah. So. You got this. You got this, Francisco. You got it. Yeah. You, you, you yeah, got no, it. Totally. I can see, I can see by your, what, what, your, your, Monica spotted it as well. We can see that you have got this. Yes. You've got this. The, the light is the lights are on. They are really bright now. Yeah. <laughs> the, the circuit was like not it's, connecting, and then you. Just... <laughs> it's, it's, I tell you, it's, it's awesome to see. Awesome, it's awesome to see. It, it is. It's just happening right in front of us. It's awesome. So, that's nice. good. That's good. Well, shit, I wouldn't want this call to end, but I got some shit to do, and we all at least took something out of this. And we can go make some magic happen down the world. <laughs> yeah, <let's do> <laughs> Hell, yeah. Hell yeah, these special coffee meetings. We're going to keep these going, guys. You guys rock. <laughs> hey, Francisco, if you want to hit me up, just Thank hit me guys. up. We can talk about, the, talk about other stuff to get that bridge sorted out. But, uh, uh, yeah. Sure, absolutely. Fantastic. Thanks for the yeah. call, guys. Amazing. Thank awesome. you for Thanks. your information. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Hi, right, guys. See ya. Later, everyone. Bye. Bye.